right, so I've gone ahead and put in my bearings on the side. I just simply copied the ones that were already there, horizontal and vertical, and just changed the wording on them. So it wasn't that big of a thing to do. If you save. To... I'm going to switch it back to hidden line view so all I see are the rooftops and so the only downfall of that is that your dimensions look like they well they're kind of like they terminated the edge like they're supposed to so I guess that's not too bad alright not sure if there's a way to show it a different way. All right, so uh, the next step really is just to uh, uh, label things that are here, um, such as your um, you'll label your your dwelling, and since we have changed the um, square footage on it, uh, I guess we won't be putting that since we don't know what it is. We have to calculate it to see, but. We'll go ahead and change it. So the text height it should be 332. And we're going to do one story dwelling. And normally we'll put the material. <clears throat> what it's constructed out of. Kind of stretched it out a little bit. And we'll zoom out to see how the text looks. It looks like it's huge. 332 looks really big. One fourth is probably even bigger. Alright, so we may have to edit and make our own textile here. So let's duplicate that. Let's see. Let's go with. Oh, you know what? It's probably responding to the text to the uh, scale. So we'll still put it in. I'm gonna try one eighth. Okay. All right, text height. Let's go with. Oh, yeah, that's bigger. That's even worse. So we're going to have to edit that. <laughs> I'm going to do that one. Let's try one sixteen. Yeah, much better. I'm gonna shrink this so wood ends up being on the same line as yeah, dwelling. There we go. And I'm gonna center it. Doesn't seem to want to do it. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so now I don't want to go through that all over again every single time, so I'm just going to simply copy and paste this and put it where I need it. Mm -hmm. 
こういうことです。And it says concrete is a little bit everywhere. We'll just copy and paste it. So the objective is not to really draw anything twice. Unless you necessarily have to. Alright, here's what I'll go with. This is going to be our tree lawn. It's not, not going to be concrete. Alright, so looks like we got our. We can actually throw a dimension here and there on some stuff. So we'll make that four feet. You can see I'm just copying text that I've already made, not reinventing the wheel. existing site plan to make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, the only thing that we were missing here is a north arrow and that gets, well I think we can download it. Um, so I think it's a component. So we just load family. I think it's under the annotations. So that's go look there instead. Yep. So that's like several different versions. Oh, that's about three versions of it. I'll use this one. If it's too small, we may have to end up putting it on the sheet. Alright, so it doesn't like that as a component, so I think I need to do annotate and load the family if I can do that. Normally anything that's not I'm not sure what that would be considered as because it's just text. It's not letting me load it. Not sure what 
family that Sander So I may have to make my own or insert one from AutoCAD or something. I don't know if I want to spend time doing that. But I may have to look that up. But it may show up on the sheet. I may be able to do it on the sheet. Let's see how that works. All right, so what is our next step? Is to create a sheet. All right, so there's some sheets already here on this file. One well, is a floor plan. It's already there. And as you see, it needs to be adjusted. I don't even really worry about that. The front rear elevations are there. They're huge. They're bigger now since so I've moved some things around and put a few trees on here. But let's use, well, say, just this blank. Hmm. Why not? We'll just use a 101 and we're just gonna renumber it. We're gonna rename it to S for site. We're gonna drag the site plan over. And there may be a few things we have to turn off. Or maybe not. It looks like the only thing we may have to turn off are these cameras. We just hide them, hide the category. And it wanted to go 20 feet. That actually worked out pretty good. Care for this tile block. I think I'd like to use my own, but um, we'll just don't worry about that. All right, we may want to hide the viewport. And just leaves the drawing behind. All right, normally it has a tag on it somewhere. Well, I guess it doesn't on this one. All right, so um, site plan. Uh, we're gonna change the date because it's not 2016. That's a good five years ago. Uh, if you well, we're not gonna go through all that up doing that of getting rid of all that stuff. We'll just leave it like it is. All right. So, it'll, oh, the North Arrow. That's something that let me see. What, can we get it in on this one? Symbol. Oh, you know what? Symbol might work for that. That might be where I was going wrong with. No, oh, well, what do you know? That worked. All right, so we're going to place this. Uh, I guess we'll place it about here. Oh, we could put it over there. Either one. So that'll be our North Arrow. Um, I don't think we need to make it any bigger than what it is. And I think that will complete it. So we're just going to print this as a PDF. it as a PDF we'll just be turning it in and 
gonna say no, we're not using that. It's too small. Uh, PDF Architect or PDF Creator. I I think the creator is the one that has the correct sheet sizes to it. So let me check to see. Yep, it does. Arxy. Okay. Uh, setup. The setup is probably already done because this is this file has been used before. So it looks like it's already set up for that. Alright, so we hit OK. Preview. Perfect. Print. OK. It's like I forgot a uh, dimension. I think I did forget one. Um, I think I forgot the one that goes across right here. Right. And we're going to direct it to go where it needs to go. Uh, that's, that's too long of a name. Site plan. That's your name. Safe. And that'll be it.